comes upon our lives, the grace that he has given to us and all he has done. I just want us to rise up on our feet as we begin to appreciate God for everything he has done for us. Just begin to thank him for his goodness, his mercy, his love, his tender care. Just begin to appreciate God for everything he has done for us. As a family, as a church, God has been so good to us. Holy Spirit of God, we thank you. Thank you for everything you've done for us. We thank you for protection. We thank you for the goodness, your kindness. We thank you for the love that you have given to the church. Holy Spirit of God, take all the glory. Begin to ascribe all greatness to God. Begin to describe God in the way that you want to describe God. Begin to tell God, magnify the name of God. Honor the name of God today. Jesus, you the beginning and the end, I thank you. The Alpha and Omega, I bless you. The one that rose from the dead that said, I will rose again on the third day and you rose from the dead. We thank you, oh God, because you are above the grave. We thank you for the power. We thank you for the anointing in the church. We thank you for everything you've done for us. We thank you for the things we see and the things we don't see. May Jesus, we were sleeping and you were fighting battles. We were ignorant of the devices of the devil, but God, you are not ignorant because you've given us the power not to be ignorant of the devices of the devil. You give us power to tread upon serpent and scorpion. We bless your name, oh God. Our lips are not enough to say thank you. Our heart is not enough to say thank you. Our mouth is not enough to say thank you. You've been so good to us, oh God. We bless your name. We know that we come to you and we ask and you give to us. Whatever we ask, you give. You've been so gracious. Oh, Jesus, thank you. Even when the devil came, you fought for us and you gave us victory. Thank you, Jesus. We bless your name, oh God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. At this moment, I just want us to align ourselves to God. Let us ask God for mercy for the nation. Let us ask God for mercy for the church and for ourselves and our family. That in any way the nation have sinned against God, say, God, have mercy on Canada. In any way as a church we have sinned against you, have mercy. In any way our families and ourselves have sinned against you, have mercy. Begin to plead for the mercy and begin to align yourself with God. Holy Spirit of God, we plead for mercy. In any way we have fallen short of your glory. As an individual, I ask for mercy. Lord Jesus, please, oh God, come and cleanse and purify me from everything that doesn't resonate with you. Anything that doesn't align with you, oh God, that is magnifying itself in my life. Oh God in heaven, I pray that you align my life with you, oh God, in the name of Jesus. I'm praying for my family, oh God, that you align our life with you, oh God. In any way we've sinned against you as a family, have mercy on us. In any way we've sinned against Against you as a church, have mercy. I pray for the nation. In any way we've sinned against you as a nation, we ask for mercy. We ask for mercy that your mercy speak for us, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God, because we know you are able to have forgiven our sins. In Jesus' name we pray. At this moment, I just want us to invite the Spirit of God. Because we cannot do anything on our own. That the Spirit of God will come and take supernatural control of the service. Begin to ask of the Spirit. Say, Holy Spirit of God, take control. Take control. Jesus, open the windows of heaven and pour out your spirit. Pour out your praises in the name of Jesus. Jesus, we ask for your presence. We ask for your presence. Your presence make a difference. Your presence make the difference. Your presence make the difference. When your presence is here, oh God, we do extraordinary things. The presence of God heal. The presence of God break yokes. The presence of God deliver your breast. Rama so break a dose. Randa yada bakada ya brados. Your presence of God. Has the presence of God to flow through you. Has the presence of God to flow through you. That the presence of God will flow through your body. Rama so break a dose. That the presence of God will flow through your body. And quicken your mortal body. Heal every sickness. Maradama so break a dose. In the name of Jesus, we ask for your supernatural presence. We ask for your flow, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. 
In Jesus' name. Hebrews chapter 28, verse 29. Therefore, let us be grateful for receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken. And thus, let us offer to God acceptable worship with reverence and awe, for God is a consuming fire. I just want you to thank God for this kingdom, the kingdom that cannot be shaken. A kingdom that you and I have been grafted into by the Holy Spirit. Let us begin to say, God, thank you for the kingdom that cannot be shaken. That you have grafted us together. This is the kingdom, the spiritual kingdom that God has created for you and I. That we cannot be moved. That we cannot be shaken. Begin to say, God, we thank you for your kingdom. We thank you for the kingdom that you have given to us that is like a consuming fire. When the devil came, like to sweep up away like a flood, God raised up a standard against the devil. God raised up a standard against the devil. Begin to thank God for his presence. Thank God for his kingdom that cannot be shaken. We thank you for your kingdom that cannot be shaken, that you have grafted us together. Our feet cannot be moved. Our feet cannot be moved. Thank you, O God, for your kingdom that cannot be broken, that cannot be moved. In the name of Jesus, we bless your name, O God. In Jesus' name we pray. Let us pray for Canada. Pray that Canada will recognize Jesus Christ as Lord of this land. So that the plans of the Lord will stand firm forever. And the purpose of the heart of God will be made known from generation to generation. Begin to pray that God will be made known in Canada. Canada will come to realize that this land is of God. This land is built on God. This land is found on God. In the name of Jesus, every heart in this land we begin to reconcile with Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we pray, oh God, that heart begin to convince, oh God, in the name of Jesus, that ministers, presidents, leaders, we realize that Canada is a land that you have brought to existence, that every law we align to the Bible, every law of Canada, we align to the truth. In the name of Jesus, the law of Canada, the lawmakers, we align their mind to the standard of God, the line of the God of heaven and earth. In the name of Jesus, every land law that we have fled the Christian shall be swept away. In the name of Jesus, may we come to realize that God is the owner of Canada. In the name of Jesus, plant yourself, oh God, in Canada. In mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I just want us to ask that the Lord will fill us with knowledge of spiritual wisdom and understanding so that we will walk in a manner that is worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing Him alone, bearing fruit from Him and walking in increasing knowledge. Begin to ask for the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of wisdom in the church, the spirit of wisdom in our life. Knowledge and understanding is profitable. Jesus, we ask for wisdom, wisdom and understanding. When we have wisdom, we have everything. When you have the knowledge of God, you can do anything. You can invest in any business and you will come out through. You will succeed in your academy. Just the wisdom of God, just the knowledge of God. You will succeed in the world, in the land of the living. You will succeed with the wisdom of God. The wisdom of God. Jesus, we ask for your wisdom. We ask for your knowledge. We ask for your wisdom. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit of God, we ask for your wisdom. We ask for knowledge, knowledge, wisdom. In the name of Jesus, we cannot do this on our own, oh God. We cannot do this on our own, except you direct us. Except you give us the understanding of your word. In the name of Jesus, Mantoria Brakadosh, Repekete Brakadosh, Emma Thank you, Jesus, for wisdom and understanding. Thank you, oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Just begin to bless the word. Ask the Lord that the word come forth today. That even as his word come forth, his word will encourage the souls of men. His word will deliver. 
His word will rekindle our fire for Him. His word will renew our mind. Begin to ask God, whatever you want now, you are in the presence of God. There is an open shack before you. Begin to tell God, Jesus, I have come to your presence that I will be delivered, that you will set me free. Oh, man, Teriatos, just begin to thank God for His presence. Begin to tell God, I am in your presence, that I will have a relationship with you. Begin to use your word, oh God. Use your word, oh God, to transform my life. Use your word, oh God, to renew my heart. Use your word, oh God, to transform my life. Use your word, oh God, to rekindle the fire in me. Use your word, oh God, to refresh my memory. Use your word, oh God, to cause my life to be unshaken. Use your word, oh God, to transform my mother body. Use your word, oh God, to change my level. Use your word, oh God, to increase my life. Use your word, oh God, to transform my mind in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Begin to thank God for prayer answers. Say, Jesus, we thank you. We thank you because we know that every prayer and supplication we have made in the presence of God, it is answered. Begin to thank God for healing. Begin to thank God for healing because everyone that is here today is healed. You are here today, you are healed. Because you are in the presence of God, you are healed. Spiritually, you are healed. Physically, you are healed. Begin to thank God. A grateful heart is the application for more. When you are grateful, God begins to bless you. Thank God for healing. Thank God for promotion. Thank God for everything He has done for you. We bless your name, O oh God. Be thou exalted. Holy Spirit of God, even as we start the service, we pray that your windows of heaven be opened. Be open over the congregation that every heart today will be filled. Every soul today will be blessed. No one will come back and go back the same way they came. We are coming to ignite our spirit with God. We have come to dilute to God. We have come to receive that we will be blessed in the name of Jesus. Change, your oh God, everything that you have caused us to do. And let your purpose, your will, be made manifested in today's service. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. that we serve a mighty living God. There is only one name. There is only one name. Where the power to save. Where the power to save. the power to save. There is only one name. There is only
presence be lifted high. In the nation be lifted high. In Jesus name we worship. Amen. Hallelujah. I just want you to clap to God because he's been so good. Are you ready to dance for Jesus? Are you ready? Did you come with your dancing shoes? Did you come with your dancing shoes? I came with my dancing shoes.
kingdom be done. Men carry the mass of birthday. Begin to receive the power. The power to do extraordinary things. The power to move mountains. The power to break sicknesses. We can feel your glory, O God. We can feel your power. There is a power in the house. There is a power in the house. Jesus, we thank you for your presence. We thank you for your power. We thank you for your glory. We thank you for the healing. We thank you because everyone that has praised you today, you have recorded our name for divine extraordinary things. We are elevated from glory to glory. Thank you, Jesus. Because when praises goes up, let's see come down. Hey, Mataya brother. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We have gained victory over the kingdom of darkness. There is a shaking in the kingdom of darkness. There is a war. And you have won the battle. Have you won the battle? Have you won the battle? We have won the battle. We want to invite our children because the battle has been won. We have defeated the devil. And glory, glory, glory be unto God. Children, children, miraculous children, children of God, blessed children, the prayerful children, the finest children, intelligent children, prayer warrior, anointed children, the blessed children. children cover them with the blood of Jesus pray that the hands of the Lord will rest upon them they will do extraordinary things in their school in the church in the world at large these ones are called to be glorious children Jesus the blessed ones the holy children the anointed children they are here before you oh God we pray that you open the windows of heaven Cause their life to shine for you. The devil shall not snatch these ones away. These ones are called to stay in the kingdom of God. These ones are called to remain here and do extraordinary things. We thank you, Holy Spirit of God. You have called for our children to be signs and wonders. You said in your word that the children you have given for us, they are for signs and they are for wonders. These ones are showing for the signs of God, the wonders of God. The devil, the mark of the devil cannot come against them. We not touch them. We cover them with the blood of Jesus. Their minds are covered. Even as they go out, they are covered. In the name of Jesus, you shall live long to make your parents proud. You will live long to make the church proud. You will live long to make the nation proud. In the name of Jesus, you are covered with the blood of Jesus. Go to Sunday school and do signs and wonders. Go and receive the knowledge of God. Go and receive the anointing. Go and receive the wisdom to do extraordinary things. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' name. We cover them with the blood of Jesus. Thank you. Children of God, will you shout hallelujah? Shout hallelujah to the Lord for five times. Ah. 
Clapping of hands actually is healthy to your body? Oh, yes. If you just wake up and clap like this for about maybe 10 times a day, you don't need medicine. It activates all your internal organs. Oh, true. It's no joke. So as we were worshiping, what came to mind is that if you know anybody who goes to aerobics and pays for aerobics, invite them to church to get free aerobics. Amen. And they get the French benefit of health. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Are you glad to be in the house of the Lord? There's no better place to be than the house of the Lord. Amen. Not the Canucks game, not the, uh, uh, what, where's the, what's your game there? in? Uh, not the Raptors. <laughs> Sorry, uh, uh, I mean, sports fanatics. The, the best place to be is the house of the Lord. Amen. Amen. If you have, uh, whoever has a vehicle, with the license plate LB2-49. Uh,